So in this problem, we're told that gravel is being dumped from a conveyor belt at a rate of 15 feet cubed per minute, and its coarseness is such that it forms a pile in the shape of a cone whose base diameter and height are always equal. And we're asked to find how fast the height of the pile is increasing when the pile is 12 feet high. So let's start off with what they're asking us for. So they're asking us how fast is the height of the pile increasing. Um, so basically what they're asking is for um, the HDT, so the rate of change of the height with respect to time. So that's what we're trying to find. And then let's just write down what we're given. So they're telling that they told us that gravel is being dumped from a conveyor belt at a rate of 15 feet cubed per minute. So basically, this is volume. So they're telling us that the volume is changing at 15 feet cubed per minute. So the change in volume over time, change in time, dvdt, is equal to 15. What else? They also tell us though that um, the height is 12 because they're, we're trying to find it when the height is 12. Okay. So now that we got all our variables laid out. Let's uh, actually solve the problem. So volume, because that's what we're trying to find here, because we have dvdt. Volume is equal to um, pi pi over three times r squared times h. And so the thing that you have to notice here is that they give us um, the formula has a radius, but we aren't given a radius. But what they do tell us though is that the cone uh, cone's base diameter and height are always equal. So d is equal to h. But what we also do know is that 2r is equal to d. So um, r is basically equal to, if we divide both sides by 2, r is equal to uh, d over 2. And so that basically, since d and h are equal, that means radius is going to be equal to h over 2. So we can just replace uh, the radius with, with h over 2. So if we go ahead and do that, we'll have d over pi over 3 times h divided by 2 squared times h. And now what we should do is simplify this so we can get it an easier way to, before we actually solve it. So if we square h and then 2, we'll get v is equal to pi over 3 times h squared over 4 times h. In this 3 and 4 here, we can just simplify into 12. We just multiply them together. And so what this simplifies to basically is v is equal to pi over 12. And then we just have h squared times h. And then when we do this, we can just add the exponents together. So this will just become h cubed. This will be our new formula. And now what we can do is differentiate both sides, then plug in our values and solve. So if we differentiate this side, we'll get dvdt right here. So dvdt, actually let me write it right here, dvdt is equal to pi over 12, because it's a constant multiplied by some um, variable raised to an exponent. So we got to find the derivative of this, but since we're taking it with respect to time, we have to use the chain rule. So h cubed, if we find the derivative of it, is 3h squared. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is basically the derivative of h with respect to t, so dh, uh, dh dt. And this is what we're solving for. And so now what we can do is basically just plug in our numbers, and then we can solve. So if we go ahead and do that, dv dt, we already know what it is. It's 15. So if we plug in 15, 15 is equal to pi over 12 times 3 times h squared. So what is h? Well, we know that the height is 12, so h is just going to be 12. So times 12 squared times dh dt. And so we know that 15 is equal to, and then let's do this. Let's uh, solve this. So 12 squared is going to be 144. Then if we multiply by 3, it'll become 432. Then we multiply by pi, it'll just become 432 pi over 12. And then we multiply by dh dt. And then so now what we can do is multiply both sides by 12 and then divide by 432 to get dh dt. So we multiply both sides by 12. Uh, this 12 right here will go away. So we'll have 12 times 15. Then 12 times 15 is 180. So we have 180 is equal to 432 pi times dh dt. And then if we go ahead and divide by 432 pi, we're going to get our answer. So 180 divided by 432 times pi, plug that in your calculator, you'll get uh, 0.13. So dh dt is going to be equal to 0.1326. And we're only rounding to two decimal places. So this will just round to 0.13. So dh dt is 0.13. And so that's going to be our answer here. So the answer to this problem is going to be 0.13 feet per minute.